I help you? We're here for the wedding. Pardon? Hello, the wedding. Ice sculptures and a cake and a DJ. I'm sorry, what wedding? Mine. <laughs> so we're good to go. Kim signed the prenuptial. No, she didn't even ask for any changes. Yeah, the paperwork's on its way to you. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, I'll see you after the wedding. Uh, certainly did. Melinda's funeral? Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure Kelly was all right before I left. You could have skipped me for Kelly. Yeah, I don't think that would have been the best idea. Comforting your ex-wife? I figured getting out while the getting was good was a better idea. What happened? Well, I asked Kelly to marry me. She turned me down flat. I think Melinda would have loved the carnations. They're always her favorite. It was a very lovely service, I thought. I'm glad you decided to keep it just family. Yeah, my mother likes, um, well, has always liked things simple. Wish Kevin felt that way. I thought he'd come by La Boulet, but he went speeding off without saying a word. Oh, maybe that's him now. Please, no. Okay, Kelly. Um, you want to tell me what's going on with you and Kevin? Thank you so much for coming. Of course. I'm just sorry to hear you need legal help. What's going on? I've asked Charlie for a divorce. I was hoping you could handle it for me, please. Charlie, haven't you gotten into enough trouble hanging out with me? The baby's vitals were perfect all night. Oh, thank God. So what does this mean? Your niece can go home later today. Oh, you hear that, little girl? You're coming home. Her father is thrilled, too. You know, I was thinking we should get a cabinet for all the diapers and baby wipes, extra formula. Yeah, it's not exactly the media center we talked about, is it? The baby doesn't need digital sound. I know, I know. I'm just saying you didn't exactly sign on for a baby when you agreed to be my roommate. I can't wait. If this happens, I will be so happy. Hey, if... Gigi might get custody. Skylar, you need to be prepared for no, that. No, no, not today. Not today. I mean, that's the mantra, isn't it? One day at a time? Well, when Sierra gets released today... She's coming home with me. She looks so much better. Her face even looks like it filled out a little bit. Don't worry. When we get her home, we'll pack some weight on her. Oh, it'll be so good to see her out of that incubator. Shane cannot wait to show her that new nightlight. What? What if Skylar takes her home today? How can they say that non-hospital staff can't come in? We had real evidence. Only what Skylar told us. Against his own best interest. He'd be toast right now. If he's cleared, it's gonna make it a lot harder to make my case for custody. It was weird sitting in that hearing like like a potted plant while, while Taya just lied for me. Did she outright lie? Well, she didn't let me tell the truth that I didn't actually give the oxytocin to Stacy. Well, you couldn't say that without admitting that you took the drug in the first place. If Rex and Gigi had testified, you would have went there. Yeah, and instead I just I squeaked by on evasive maneuvers. Sky, do you know that you screwed up? Yeah, royally. Are you trying to make it right? Best I can. 
Do you want custody of your daughter? <laughs> yeah, yes, that's why I sat there and I took it. I mean, I want to raise my daughter and I can't do that from jail, so... You might not have to come to that. Okay, if the ethics panel knew that I, I stole the drugs, they would automatically assume that I gave it to Stacy. They can charge me for that. And the only person who knows that I didn't is Kim. And, and who knows if she'd clear me. <gasps> Look at you! Uh-uh. You're no longer working that out. I missed you! Oh. And now you're getting married? Oh, oh my God. God. I'm so glad you guys came. Like... Yeah, usually I say no to the private jet <laughs> ride. <laughs> Are you really getting married mm -hmm. today? Uh. You okay, Nige? Um, Guys, meet my butler. This is Nigel. I am the Buchanan butler. Okay, we need some Bloody Marys and some brunch. Oh, and something vegan for Laudine. Oh, <laughs> over it. Oh, okay. Guys, it's bacon for everybody. <laughs> Will I have time before I'm required to make a sculpture? Hmm? I understand from this young woman. Leah. Yes, I'm sure. She tells me there's to be a wedding. Uh-huh, that's right. And when will the happy nuptials be? Today. Couldn't didn't tell you? No. Brunch. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, don't worry. It's happening. But you're sure? Because if you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, let me get this straight. So you asked Kelly to marry you right after her mother died. That's funny. I'm surprised she turned it in. Todd, would you just stay the hell out of this? Such a sad little buddy, aren't you? I mean, the woman cheated on you with your son, you still want her. Jesus can't man up, can you? God, how big a loser do you have to be to want her? It was sweet that Kevin proposed, but I couldn't. Too much has happened. Oh. What? Oh, well, I'm just surprised. You know, you slept with his son, Duke. You gave his grandson son. And you guys still stayed together? I mean, what's bigger than that? Maybe the fact that you slept with Kevin. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. You can't blame me for your problems with Kevin. You don't want to marry the guy, that's fine. But do not put that off on me. Hey, just drop by to offer my condolences. I heard about your sister. Thank you. So what happened? Hmm? Apparently she had a heart attack. Only trouble is, she had absolutely no history of heart trouble. So you think, you think that Mitch did it? He could have. He's still threatening my girls. Okay, so what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna let him control me anymore. This has to end. I had no idea you and Charlie were having trouble. It's the end result of a lot of things that have happened. It's not about the shooting, right? Because you know that Charlie was aiming at Mitch. Oh, I know that. And no, it, it's not just that. What? After Jared died, Charlie shut me out of his life. Completely. He did not trust me to help him. He went out, he got a gun, he was going to murder someone. He put everything ahead of our marriage. Eli's on his way. He filed for temporary custody so we can't take Sierra home. What did they say? He's hopeful. Skyler looks bad for all the right reasons. He tried to duck out being the father, he's in trouble with the hospital, but... He's still the dad, so any order we get today will be temporary. There will still be a full-blown hearing. Look, well, it's like she's waving. It's so good to see her moving around. Isn't she gorgeous? She looks a little like you. You think? The mouth, especially. You mean big? <laughs> yeah, she'll grow into it. Thanks for being here, Rex. It means more to me than you'll ever know. That's where I want to be. With you. I missed you.
Zane was a reason we made it this long. Kevin and I are just done. Now with him away at school, and it's just the two of us, we can't hide behind anything. It's time we both moved on. So what's next? Maybe lunch? No, Kelly, I meant... I know what you meant. I just, I can't think further than that, okay? Having to go through my mother's things. I know, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, I know this is tough. If it were my mother, I... You know, I probably couldn't think either. It's just... Wait a minute. Is that Todd's? Yeah? I better shut you up. Hey. Isn't that your nephew, Kevin? Uh, yes. Yeah, how'd you know that? The star showed me a picture. You're, you're beating up your own nephew? He started it. What are you, eight? What are you doing out of school? There was a bomb scare. They sent us all home for the day. And, you know, you know why that's a dumb lie? So I can check it. Okay, I dished. What are you going to do, ground me? Well, your mom would. Only she doesn't listen to you either. Either? You don't get to tell me what to do, Todd. You okay? Yeah. Guy fights like a little girl anyway. Better with his lip. You know what he said about Kelly's true, though? So stupid. Ask her to marry me so soon after Melinda died. It's just that we've been in limbo for so long, you know? I just wanted... I just wanted an answer. Boy, I got it. I'm sorry, son. Yeah, no be. Let's go back to London, get on with my life. Could you stay on for a couple more days, at least? Because I'm going to need a best man. Excuse me? I need a best man. I'm going to get married. Say, why don't you two join us? It will save me a courtesy call. Dad, who are you marrying? Who else? Kimberly Andrews. Clint hasn't had time to buy a ring. Things move so fast. But... You're sure? I wouldn't have sent the jet if I wasn't sure. Listen to you. You sent the jet. Well, Clint did, because I asked him to. The pilot said you have horses. Mm -hmm. A dozen thoroughbreds. And the house? Oh, my God, you guys are going to have your own wing, and your suites have balconies and fireplaces. Stop. And a great view of the mountains. So, you sold yourself to the highest bidder. Wadine! No, let her talk. We always knew what you were. She's just jealous. And what do you think you're doing on the pole, Adine, huh? I'm an artist. And when I get married, it's gonna be for love. Okay, when you're pushing 35 and Stan kicks your dimpled butt to the curb, then you can talk to me about love. It could happen. Oh, he'll definitely kick your dimpled butt to the curb. I mean love. Jeez, if you guys are already fighting sober, it's gonna be a long day. Where's Stacy? Huh? There's a love story. She gave up everything for Rick. Yeah. Rex. Yeah, yeah, Rex. She never shut up about him. Did she ever get him? Stacy's dead. Eli, what's the word? Uh, no word yet. I think papers have been filed, and I told the judge the baby may be released today. And he seems to understand the urgency. So does that mean we get a quick answer? Maybe, but also maybe not. You need to be prepared that the baby may be released to Skylar today. It's not right. If he is a lousy dad, the bottom line is he is Sierra's father. I'm gonna organize the baby stuff. You know, Rachel, at some point you get to stop helping me. I mean, you, sh you should be furious. I, I put you in a lousy situation. You confided in a professional counselor. I leaned on a friend. And you really went out on a limb by hiding that medicine vial. I called a lawyer to protect your interest. Okay. And gave it to her. Okay, still... You're with it's Greg! Okay. You're with Greg, Rachel. And? And he came down really hard on me at the hearing yesterday. I mean, he wants me thrown out of the hospital. Well, I don't. You made a mistake, Skylar. And you're not a criminal. You shouldn't lose your career over it. Okay, well, what if Greg finds out you're helping me? Hey. Hi. Hey, Skylar. We tried to find you at the hospital. I wanted to tell you in person. Is, is this about the... The hearing? Mm-hmm. The ethics committee made their ruling on your case. Come on, Eli. We've got to have a chance at getting custody. Uh, we do. It's just a slim one. I just want you to be prepared. 
Skyler is the baby's closest blood relative, and as I told you, the courts favor biological parents. Okay, but you told the judge about... Oh, I slammed this Skyler kid, Rex. I threw in all the evidence we had, even the hearsay. And the fact that he's under investigation right now for stealing a drug? Yeah, that was at the top of the list, but it's just a charge. Now, if the committee finds him guilty, that'll be a big help. How big? If Skyler's guilty, I'm sure you'll get the baby. What, what was the ruling? You had a good lawyer. She talked to legal circles around the doctors in the room. And? And a majority of the committee decided there wasn't enough evidence to prove that Skyler stole the oxytocin. Yes, yes. They're dropping the charge oh, Greg, and the you. investigation. Thank you so much. It's done. It's done. Congratulations. Oh. Uh, don't thank me. I voted against you. My baby, my ba I have to, I, I have to get my baby right now. Oh my God! You want me to come with? No, no, I, it's, I'm good. You've done more than enough. Uh, car seats in the car. I'm set. I'm, I'm set. Wait, wait. Good luck. I can't wait to see her. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. What? Scott is bringing a baby back here. He lives here. And you're comfortable with that? I love babies. Skylar raising a baby. I mean, do you really think this is a good idea? I think Skylar will be a wonderful, attentive father. Yeah. He'll make it look good. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, come on, Rachel. Skylar stole that oxytocin from the hospital. I know it. So do you. And in the end, that mattered uh, so much more than the drinking or even the fact that he accidentally shot my daughter, Jessica. He walked out when when I needed him, but much worse than that, he walked out when he needed me. He did not trust me. Are you sure? Oh, absolutely. He, I guess, thought that I just wasn't able to help him. I, I wasn't enough. You're more than enough, and Charlie knows that. He went to Dorian. Dorian! He listened to her, he trusted her. He allowed her to convince him that it was a really good idea to commit murder. I just don't see any way back from that. You're not going to do anything crazy, are you? He's in prison? Yeah, but he's still breathing. Ah. Look, I am trying. I am staying sober. But that man cost me everything. I let him cost me everything. Vicky can be very forgiving. It's one of her finer attributes. Go to her. Ask her for a second chance. No, we, uh, we've run out of second chances. Vicky asked me for a divorce. So when did you see Todd? He was at the church making a fat donation. Oh, right. He is buying his way into heaven. <laughs> oh. More like trying to impress Taya and his daughter. Oh, my gosh. He can be such a knucklehead sometimes. Well, that's what I told him. I mean, he's trying so hard. He's just doing it all wrong. I, you know what? I felt sorry for him. Don't. You know, I did spend a lot of money to keep you in school after you stole those test answers. Nobody asked you to do that. I have to say, you seem better than that, though, Danny. You're obviously very smart. No, I saw your grades from Warwick, and uh, I understand you really hated it there. You're still kicking ass. It must be tough for you here, though, huh? I can't you know. Well, I would like to know. Why don't you tell me? Are you uh, still talking smack about me in school? That was tough, but I'm tougher. You see, I knew that. But the school thing, it's not about you. Well, they're idiots. Do I know what's wrong? Yeah. I'm not going to have a father-daughter chat with a rapist. Why can't I feel sorry for Todd? Because he isn't worth your pity. Are you jealous? No. Well, trust me, I'm no threat to that twisted little dance you Oh, well, two trust do. me. Todd and I are done. You are? Mm -hmm. well, that means there's someone else. Who's the lucky guy? The judge. It's the courthouse. This could be the ruling. Elijah Clark.
he died trying to get to the baby across the lake. That is so sad. I know. So I'm marrying Clint, and we're adopting the baby. She's still in the hospital, but she got through her surgery okay, so we should have her back at the house soon. You are going to be a mom? Stacy wanted me to take care of her kid. You hate kids. I fell in love when I saw her. Or is that how you bagged a Buchanan and all his money? Were you always this bitchy and I'm just now noticing? I'm not marrying Clint for the money. Then why are you marrying him? Well, I'm, I'm happy for you, Dad, and I'd be proud to stand up with you. Uh, listen, I'm going to make a few phone calls and rearrange my flight. Oh, God, don't worry about a flight after the wedding. Just take my jet. Once it takes the bridesmaids back to Vegas, uh, it's all yours. Okay. Uh, Uncle Bo, well, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, Kev. See you, Kev. Mm. Aren't you going to congratulate me? Okay, are you doing this thing with Kim just to pay us back? You know, that was our trouble from the get-go. You always thought that I wasn't that bright. Nobody is saying that. If you did use Kim to get back at me. Our relationship has simply blossomed. Soulmate? One never knows, Nora. Well, it is sudden. Have you, um... Have you taken some time to kind of get things together? Before the wedding? I think you're talking about a prenuptial agreement. I think that would be a good idea. Well, don't you worry, Bo. You're part of Ace's money and B.E. It's safe. Uh, that's not why I'm saying that. Oh. Then you were worried about me? Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, I think while the two of you were cheating on me, you determined that I was easy to dupe. Oh, Clint. And now you think I need to be protected? Brunch is served. Sides of pork all around. Thanks, Nige. The stiff's gone. You were good. He heard that it's not the money thing. It isn't the money. Not just the money. I really like Clint. How's the sex? None of your business. That bad. It's okay. You'll be the show wife. The old guy can take you around and you make it look good. But you hire a tennis instructor who's shredded. I can't do that to Clint. Why not? Because I wouldn't do that to him. Besides, there's a prenup. It says if I cheat on Clint, he could toss me out with nothing. Tell me you didn't sign that. Clint, nobody thinks you're a fool. I'm worried because I care about you. Well, don't worry. Because the money and I are going to be just fine. You know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, because I've learned. This time I've got a prenup with a fidelity clause in it. Oh, dear God. What, don't you think that's a good idea? That the wife should think maybe, oh, I don't know, twice before cheating? Do you really want to start this again? Really? No. What, what do you want? And you don't get to pick a fight with me because, you know, we're not brothers anymore. Oh, dear God. Is that what I said? Those were your exact words, but I've got news for you. We will always be brothers. And if you say you're happy, I'm happy for you. Yeah, I was a rotten guy. Was? I'm trying to do better. For example. You give away money? So what? You're rich. You never miss that money. It doesn't change anything. Well, it's gonna help the church and the school. Eh? Whatever. Stop staring, you still make me sick. Okay. Seems like you're stuck with me, though. Unless you want me to take you back to school. No. Well, here's the deal. Um, you want to blow off school, that's fine with me. What's the catch? Why don't you spend the day with me? You do that and I promise I won't turn you to the school or your mom. Just give me a chance. So, do you think you, you will be able to help me? Of course. Thank you. I understand what it is to need a clean break from someone. Of course you do. Todd, I would have lost Daniela if I'd stayed with him. I had to choose my child. Well, of course you did. Of course you did. But you know, she, she may very well learn to accept Todd. Well, I can only hope. But I can't count on that. You can be open to it, though, right? And if she decides that she can live with the fact that Todd is her father, you two might still have a chance. 
Children have a remarkable way of bringing people together. Where's Eli? I couldn't find him. It's bad news. We don't know if it's oh, bad news or good news. the ruled for us, he'd be here. Maybe the call wasn't even about our case. Too late. Hi. Oh, she looks so much better. Yeah. Gigi, look, I know you're worried, but I'm going to take such good care of her, and you can come and check up on her anytime you want. We might take you up on that. Sweetheart, we're going home, okay? We're going home. Hold on. Judge Donnelly just faxed this order to the hospital. Sierra won't be going home with you today, Skyler. What did you do? You filed for temporary custody. You knew that. There'll be a full custody hearing at a later date. Yeah, but, but, but the ethics committee cleared me. It's not your only problem. We raised a lot of issues with you, Mr. Joplin. First of all, you denied the baby for months. Then you let her mother, Stacy, be kidnapped by Mitch Lawrence. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still... Meanwhile, Gigi has proven herself as a parent. She's been a responsible single mother for years. She's done a great job raising her own son, and she's the baby's aunt. The judge couldn't ignore those facts. You need to give the baby to Gigi. I told Scarlett I think we should get a cabinet here for all the baby stuff. You think a cabinet's gonna make it right? Greg, do you really think that Skylar can't be a good father? Or a good doctor? He's proof and he can't. I heard there was no proof. Well, cut the bull. Skylar lied about being the father, and then he stole the oxytocin to put Stacey in early labor to keep the lie going, and you chose Skylar anyway. Sky may have denied being a father then, but he is determined to be a good dad now. He deserves that chance, and I think he'll step up. He's an addict. And? And? That's it. People don't change. Really? Is that what you think? But well, then hell, Greg, I'm still a hooker and a junkie. And you're still the arrogant jackass that came into town a year ago. Gigi went to court. They have a ruling. The judge gave her custody of Sierra Rose. What? They can't do that without a hearing. Well, it's temporary custody, but the judge says I have to let her take the baby home. Wait, wait, she's being released? When? Right now. I'm, st I'm standing in the hallway. Don't move. I am on my way. Of course I signed the prenup. I'll marry Clint, we'll have the baby, and we'll be happy. I don't need anybody else. Who are you trying to convince? Hello. Hi. Hi. So, you're the bridesmaids? Hello. Not bad. <laughs> Sorry, we thought you'd be older. And not nearly so cute. Oh, you don't need to cheat on this one. So, do you think we will ever get good at it? What? Being brothers? What do you think one of us would get smarter? We put in the time? I guess I should have just known that falling for your ex-wife would be a little tricky. I'm so sorry it turned out that badly. I really am just so sorry about that. I'm sure you're both very sorry, but your cheating on me wasn't the end of the world. It led me to Kimberly. And you say she makes you happy? That she does. You love her? He's not the groom. Hi, I'm Kim. Uh, Kevin, Clint's son. Oh, nice to finally meet you. Yeah. Kim's gonna be your stepmother. Uh, looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to finally meet um, you. Me too. Listen, I know my dad can take care of himself, but if you hurt him, I will make it my life's work to crush you. Okay? Okay. Join us for brunch? Uh, I should have to make a few calls, but I will see you at the wedding. We'll look for you. Okay. See you later. Mm -hmm. Okay, does the prenup say if you can sleep with a Buchanan who lives here? Because that guy might be worth it. Okay, were you always this sick? That's gross. You don't care about the sex? No, I don't. I believe you. You do? Yeah. Sex is nothing one way or the other without love. Here we go again with that. You need love, Kim. You can't marry someone you don't care about. My relationship with my bride is none of your business. I just wanted to make sure you were happy. I am. 
Thank you very much. Now I have to go. The wedding's in a few hours. We're clear. Wow. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, you're right. Great. So you spend the day with me? No, you're right. I should be back in school. I better get back. I am seeing someone. I knew it. Oh, just calm down. It's nothing serious anyway. Then why are you so worried about Todd? I am worried about you. You need to be careful. Tay has left him. His daughter hates him. He's alone and desperate, and that's when he's dangerous. But you know what? It doesn't even matter anyway, because you're heading back to London, right? Vicky asked you for a divorce? Yeah, that's right. This is my fault. I talked you into trying to kill Mitch Lawrence. Well, it's not like I fought you, Dorian. I did this, so... Charlie, wait. I'm sorry. I... I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry about your sister. Well, my lawyer's on her way, so... Do you think I'm lying about this court order? Would you like me to read it to you out loud? No. Skylar. Please, she's still so fragile. Don't put her in the middle of a fight. You did that. Just let her go. For her sake. Baby girl. Dad loves you. Forget that, Danny loves you. Are you sure you don't want to stay? Just get something to eat? Well, I don't have much of an appetite after hearing Clint's nose. Are you, um... Yeah, are you jealous? <laughs> no. Okay. I'm not. I had the same reaction you had. I'm just worried about Clint. Yeah, well, that's not gonna get us far. But at least he told us. And it, it seemed almost decent between the two of you. Yeah, we had a moment. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll finally get there, you know, someday. Does he know what he's doing, getting involved with Kim? I mean, I'm worried about that. Well, did you hear him? Health. If anybody's going to be worried, I think it'd be Kim right now. That's not about to let anybody pull anything on him. Oh, no. Not after what we did to him. Take an inventory? Clint. You okay? You look a little preoccupied. I'm fine. Good. Me too. So, you ready to get hitched? going to London. Why not? Well, I certainly can't move back to the Buchanan compound now. I guess I could rent a flat 
You know, near Zane's school, but he's so wrapped up in his life, I'd never get to see him anyway. Kelly, you need to give yourself time. Time to mourn your mother and think. I will. You gonna be okay here? Because I uh, actually need to run out for a few things. Sure. You go. get it, Rachel. What? How can you defend Skyler when he's so guilty? You don't know that for a fact. Do you? Okay, he's been cleared of the drug theft. Nothing can happen to him now. So just between us, you and me, just tell me the truth. Do you know if Skyler stole that oxytocin from the hospital? Skyler, I did it for my niece. I'll take good care of her. You don't do this, Gigi. Don't do it. Let's get Sierra Rose home. Wait! You're not taking that baby anywhere. <laughs> 